16.18, so we have two violin strings, the heaviest and lightest ones. We're told that these are their um, linear densities, which I've forgotten that in this this context of waves on strings, it's a uh, these are usually called mu, since lambda is more useful for wavelength. Uh, and so we want to find what the ratio of their diameters has to be. So the uh, volume of one of the strings is going to be, assuming they're made of the same material, is going to be pi r squared l if the string's length is l. We want the diameters. So this is uh, pi d squared L over 4. So the mass is, of course, just uh, the density times the volume. Now, we don't know how long the strings are, but we also don't know what their volumetric density is. So it's a good thing that we don't have to, because we're going to take the mass and divide it by L. And so what we get is pi uh, rho d squared over 4. And you might say, well, we still don't know what rho is. However, since they're made of the same material, that's the same for both of them. So mu1 over mu2 is going to be pi rho d1 squared over 4 divided by pi rho d2 squared over 4. So, in addition to not needing to know what the density, the volume density is, we also don't need to know what pi and 4 are. <laughs> so this is equal to the ratio we're looking for squared. And so the ratio of the diameters is going to be equal to the square root of the ratio of the linear densities. Which in this case is 3.2.